Hi, welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm John Pisto, and behind me, folks, is beautiful Monterey Bay. I mean, look at Fisherman's Wharf over here, some of our fishing boats, and I am blessed to live in this place, believe me. You know, today I thought we'd do something a little different, and um, I thought I'd show you how to make crab chipino. Now, it's chipino, not chiopino, it's chipino, okay? Now, this is a kind of an interesting story of how this, uh, this dish actually originated. The one I think that makes more sense is it started up in San Francisco and a bunch of boats got together like they, the fishermen normally do at the end of a fishing day if they're still out on the bay fishing and everyone chipped in. One brought some tomatoes, one brought some garlic, one brought some onions and it ended up with the chipino. So there you have it. Okay, you can believe it if you want. <laughs> but let's go, I'm gonna take you to Monterey Fish. Okay, this is on a commercial wharf. They are open to the public, by the way, as is uh, Royal Seafood too. You can come down here and buy fish. And you know, we have sea harvest. We've got three nice markets where you can buy real good fresh fish. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to pick the crab and then, um, uh, then we're gonna take it home and we're gonna make this crab chipino for you, okay? So let's go. There he is. Hi, hey, Sal. Hey, John. Good to see you. Good Folks, to see you, John. I'd like to introduce you to Sal Tringali, the old, old fishing family here. They've been in the fish processing business for many, many years. In fact, his, his, your grandfather was our neighbor, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, Sal, we're here for crab. We okay? got him, John. And I'm trying a nice, beautiful Dungeness crab, and we're going to have them cooked. I'm not going to get the raw ones this time. Okay. You got we, some nice ones? We got them. You're going to love them. Okay, good. Nice and sweet. Let's go see. Let's go check it out. Uh, beautiful crabs right inside our ice box. The inner sanctum. Yeah. <laughs> we got Jeez. all kinds of fish here, John. Well, okay, folks, where we are now is this is where all the fish for all the restaurants in Monterey, hotels, you know, this is one of the, the largest companies. There's several others, but this is where it all starts. We get, you get stuff from all over the world, literally. Yeah. Right? All fresh. And, yeah, uh, fresh, frozen. Amazing. We get everything, whatever. Everything here. Whatever the restaurants yeah. want, we bring it in. Let's check out the crab first. Then we're going to give people a little tour about it. All right, John. It. What do we got? Oh my god. Here's gosh. the crab. Look Good. at these monsters. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Now, you know, I'm going to do cooked crab. I don't know. When you guys make chipino at home, you guys use the raw or you use the cooked? No. Uh, both. You, you know, know sometimes depends, huh? it depends uh, what the situation is. A little, little extra work, though. Right. I mean, now nowadays, I mean, these are probably, what, two, maybe two days old? Maybe. Oh, at the most. At the most. At the most. So, they're, you know, they're nice and fresh. These are caught now south from Alaska all the way to how far south they go? Uh, you know, in Monterey. Mon uh, and, and below that, Morro um, Bay? Yeah, I think so. Maybe but, a little bit? Yeah. Okay. These are Dungeness crab. These are Pacific Coast favorite. Look at this guy. Look at this, this is a beauty. Okay, these are about two and a half pounds or so. Yeah, that one's gonna be uh, a, a good two yeah. and a half pounder. Yeah, and you know, the East Coast got the little blue crabs. I mean, those aren't crabs, those, no. are, little, those are bugs. As far as these I'm are, concerned, these are huh? crabs. These, these are, are crabs. <laughs> these are the ones, if you're gonna eat crab, you eat this, the dungeon. This is the one, okay. Hey, you know, while we're in here, let's go around a little bit. Let's see what you got. I think people would love to see all this nice, fresh, fresh fish. This is all your shellfish is over here, Sal? Yeah, John, we get shellfish from all over uh, okay. United States, Canada, New Zealand. Those are New Zealand Blue green lip yeah. mussels. And you see, these aren't dead. These may, you think they are, but these are called, a, these are a gaper. Right. What they're doing is breathing. They'll open up and, and then see? they'll close. And, and then keep doing that and they'll close. What happens when it gets cold, they'll open up there. The muscle relaxes mm -hmm. and then. Uh, but you see how he's closing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what else we got? We got shellfish, we got the clams, we got uh, mussels. What do we got here, Over here, Sally? John, we got local uh, Monterey Bay Petroli. Wow. Drag boats just came in and Jeez. Uh, had a load of Petroli, yep. and that's our the restaurant's favorite, that's uh, favorite sole. Fish. That's the best. That's the best. If you want to eat a sole, you got to eat the Petroli. Yep. Now, so now you're going to fillet these here? We're filleting them as the orders come in. And, uh, wow. Over, Fabulous. Everybody on the peninsula will have fresh yep. Petroli for that's, that's very okay. delicate, very nice fish for people that haven't, uh, don't like fish a lot because it's such a delicate flavor. It is. And, uh, uh, you know, it's readily available. Right, and right. easy to cook, it's thin, Simple. it cooks. Yeah. Yeah, no bones. No, <laughs> no, very, very nice. Sally, what do we got here? These are Alaska oh, halibut, John. Wow, look at that, whoa! Looks like the ones we caught up there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, these are nice. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Big fish, yeah. okay, then we got crab. What do we got going over here? Oh, wait a minute. What's this? These look beautiful. This is mahi mahi, John. Okay. It's uh, 
Look at them. Beautiful. We get them, we fillet them, and bag them up, and get them uh -huh. ready for for the restaurant no, orders. Mai Mai is also known as dolphin fish. Yeah, that has a couple so. different names. Dorado. Dorado is the other dolphin one. fish. Mahi Mahi. Yeah. So if you've been in Mexico or Hawaii fishing, you probably right. caught some oh, of those. Oh, absolutely. Huh? They're okay. so beautiful. Yeah. They come out of the water with all the colors. Yeah. Then we got some salmon fillets. All ready to go. Yeah, nice. these are all salmon fillet pin bone out. Look at that. What a product, huh? Yeah. Just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. All right. Then we got some nice ahi tuna. Look at this. Yeah, these are right. tuna. Everything's ready to go nowadays. You know, this is, everything's getting to be just so streamlined. Yeah. You know, it's because of the labor. You know, we can't afford all that labor. Just killing us. Look at this. Nice Atlantic yeah. salmon. Whole salmon, yeah. Uh -huh. Beautiful stuff. We got some petrolli already filleted I'll over there in up. the box. We got scallops All from uh, back east, the eastern wow. uh, scallops that come in an eight pound can. Fabulous. And trout. Whoa. This is the catch of the day, John. Wow, look at this. Those beautiful. Jesus, look at the size of these. These are sardines. Is that those little ones you get in the cans? This is a sardine. Boy, if Andy Weil was here, he'd go crazy. Yeah. He'd love these. Dr. Weil went absolutely nuts over these sardines. They're beautiful. Yep. Oh, they're beautiful. gorgeous. They're pitcher. Beautiful pitcher. fish. Absolute pitcher. Yeah. And then, and then this looks like. Uh, so we have some catfish. Catfish. Oh, that's good stuff too, huh? Yeah, the catfish. Johnny Rivers loves catfish. It's delicious. You know, yeah. when the fish is fresh, you can't beat it, can't John. Can't beat it. Absolutely right. Okay, Sal, let's get a couple of these guys and we'll take them home. All right. How many you need? Up? I don't know. Maybe about three would do perfect. Okay. And then, folks, you know, Sal's open to the public. Uh, you can come down here and buy the fish right from him. I don't know how much you want to encourage that or not. Yeah, yeah no. It's we'll, okay, good. We'll come, come down, down, pick up your fish. Pick we'll your be happy to, to help out. It's the best. Okay. When we come back, we're going to be in the kitchen cooking. Okay, folks, wasn't that nice walking down the wharf in the morning? Like, that's my favorite time in the world to be on that wharf in the morning. Okay, let's get our chipino going. Chipino, so, chipino, chip in. Whatever you got available. I'm sure they always had potatoes, they always had onions, they always had garlic, they always had celery, I would imagine. So look, I'm gonna chop this stuff real thick because you gotta realize this is, this is probably gonna be authentic as, as I can make it. It's not a, the boat is tossing back and forth. So look at it, just chop nice chunks. Potatoes always go good. Now, do you put pasta? I don't think so. I don't think you need to put the pasta. Okay, so we're gonna do onions, potatoes. Being that we can improvise, I'm gonna put some leeks. I don't think they had leeks back then. If they had a leak, they'd be in trouble. <laughs> Okay, just look at that, just like this. Now, when you cut leeks, you gotta make sure you rinse them. Because if you don't, they're full of dirt. All right. Okay, what's next? Let's put a little celery. Again, chop nice big chunks. This is a man's chipino, folks. Turn that on full blast. Okay, now, some shallot. Okay, here's my garlic. See my garlic? Chunky garlic. Some hot pepper. Most surely. Some bay leaf, absolutely. And I brought some carrot in case you wanted it. You know, if you wanted to put, I don't see why not. Carrot would be good in here. All right, this takes a few minutes. While that's cooking, let's talk about the crab. Let's see if we got enough first. Okay, stir it good. Let's put some more potato in. Now the crab can either be cooked or raw for convenience we're going to use 
a cooked one. Now, let's make sure we got enough oil. A little oil's not gonna hurt you. Okay, let's put some black olives. You see these? Nice black olives. Let's put those in there too. You know what, we like, I got a lot of guys here, so I'm gonna, guys like the potatoes, you know? And then plus Sal's gonna come up. So we gotta make sure we have enough for Sal. All right. Okay, how to clean a crab. Easiest way is have the guy where you buy it clean it for you. <laughs> That's always gonna be the easiest way. If not, you grab it like this, one hand there, and you go like this, okay? You pull this, you're pulling his lips off right now. Okay, these are the lungs, okay? Now, then you pull, this is called the apron. Bloop. Okay, that's done. Now, this is called crab butter. We've heard that mentioned many times. Now, what you do is you grab the jaws right here, you give it a nice little twist. This is the stomach. That's the stomach sack right there, okay? Now we're gonna use all this. Now I'll tell you the truth, folks. You taste this, this tastes better than the crab meat. Woo! Man, okay. This smells right. We're gonna need a few minutes to let this cook up, okay? Okay, folks, now this is the secret here. You gotta make sure this gets cooked real good. Whoa, gets cooked real good. I mean, you almost wanna fry those vegetables, all right? Now, the crab is real easy to do. Let me show you. You cut it like this, right through, and then with the little hammer, you go like this. You see that? You crack the knuckle, you break it, and that's done. You see how nice that is? Okay, so that is gonna be done there. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna put this all together. So stay tuned. Okay, you see how nice those potatoes are cooking? Now, white wine, or you can use red wine. Again, this is a seafood or this is a fisherman's chipino. Italians don't drink red wine. You never see a white, uh, or you never see a white wine on the boat. It's always red wine, right, Ron? Right. Absolutely. That and VO. That's all they have. Okay, nice shot of white wine. Ah, smells good. Maybe a little bit more garlic. Yeah. How about a little bit more shallots? It's okay. This is all going to cook. Now, the next thing. What I did is I got some tomatoes in juice. I opened them up, I put them in my food processor, and there you have it. Okay, break it down. Now, you don't have to do it that way, but that's the way I did it. Okay, so you know, we're gonna be dipping a lot of bread in this baby. All right. Okay, now we're talking. Now this is gonna, we're gonna make this come up to a boil and we want this to cook at least 15 to 20 minutes, okay? Now, being that these are already cooked, let me show you how easy this is to put together, folks. I remember the old days. Now, okay, see this, this is all that beautiful, beautiful crab butter, look at that. Yeah, that's gonna give that crab flavor, intensifies it, okay? One, two. Oh, man, used to fight over this. I got a buddy that, man, Ronnie, you guys know Ronnie Aliotti? Boy, watch out, man, he sees this crab butter. Look at this one, it's loaded. He loves it. Those lips start a smacking, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, that. Now, see, we just blend that in. Oh, man. Now make your favorite garlic bread. 
Now all we want to do is heat this up. We do not want to cook this, okay? We just want to heat it up. This is what you call a festa, Sicilian festa. You sit down with this. I remember in the old days, and you had some nice friends that called the uh, the Heilers. And Mrs. Heiler used to make crab cioppino. And boy, was that a big festive thing. Everybody would be waiting for her. She's a great cook. And she'd make these big pots of cioppino and have the wine ready and a big salad and this great garlic bread. Okay, can you get the garlic bread out for me, please? That's ready. Here you go. Okay. So this needs literally just to be heated up. Okay, give this two minutes. Then we go with the plate, like this. Let me show you how this is. Man, oh man, oh man. We are talking good. Crab cioppino, that's all this is, okay? That's not very hard. Give, figure each person should have a half a crab, okay, to start with, and a lot of juice. And make sure you give them some of the potatoes because the potatoes are delicious and some of the olives and a lot of juice okay you can drink the juice like a soup with the soup spoon okay and you can be inventive with this if you like all right clean it up a little bit how about if we put a nice big big crab leg like that huh nice big shell like that Okay, so folks, this is it. Look at this garlic bread. Make sure you put a lot of garlic on it. Okay, look at this. Okay, there it is. Simple, easy, delicious crab cioppino. Anyone can make it. Only use fresh crab. Okay, when we come back, we're going to introduce you to a new segment of our show called Ask the Chef. You know, we write a, I write a food column, the Monterey Herald. And we thought we'd start answering some of these letters on the air. Okay? So uh, stay tuned. We're going to come back for Ask the Chef. Welcome back to our new segment called Ask the Chef. Uh, let me read this letter from Ron Scholl. I don't know where he's from. But for years I've had fond memories of Italian... Hot Italian beef and pepper sandwiches I used to buy and enjoy so much as a boy in Chicago. They were great, but I can't seem to find one like them locally. And although I've tried, I can't figure out how to make them. Can you help? Well, let me tell you. Oh, okay. The beef is slicely thinned, cooked in a juice with Italian spices, beautiful bell peppers. Um, I've tried 50 different sandwiches, always with disappointment. Okay. Ron, this has as many recipes. The, the more we looked into it, everyone has a different recipe. I called Chicago. I talked to some friends that lived there. They gave me different recipes. So what I did is I kind of put it all together. There's some basic elements here. Basic. Fried bell peppers, not roasted. All right? With a lot of onion, a lot of garlic, a lot of black pepper. Then I roasted off some uh, roast, rare roast beef. Now, you can buy this at the store. Okay? The, the delis, they have it. Just slice it off. Now, I made my own au jus, but you know, you can make some beef stock and chop a lot of onions in it. You know, just use the one in the can, a lot of garlic, and put Italian spices, oregano, and you know what? It'll work. All right? So, to put it together, I mean, this, oh, and the other thing was the hot peppers. Okay? And what I used were the hot, hot cherry peppers. All right? Now, one, some recipes said pepperoncini, but I use these. And I chopped them up. So, now I gotta confess, I never had this before. But uh, this is gonna be a first for me. Okay, now, don't cook the roast beef, all right? Otherwise, it's gonna be dry as hell. It's gonna get that cardboard consistency. Okay, see that? So it's not still cooked. Or still nice and rare. And don't be stingy. Okay, we do this. We do this. Ron, I hope this is doing it for you, bud boy. Okay, now, some red peppers. And, oh yeah, another thing. Everyone said this, these are real messy to eat. And you know what? I believe them. So there you have 
Chicago Italian style hot sandwich pistol style. Folks, this recipe is on my website and it is in our column today. Try this. I guarantee you, you're not going to be disappointed. This looks just delicious, and I made extra because the guys here all want to taste it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.